when I had that experience, I came out of the hospital completely healed. I said, God, what's happened to me? He said, Ian, you are a reborn Christian. I said, I've never heard that term before. What does that mean? And he said, you must read a Bible. I remember over the next six weeks in 1982 reading the Bible. As I did, I said, God, what took place? He said, Ian, you are a reborn Christian. And I read it in John 3.3 3, that a man must be born again of the Spirit of God to enter the kingdom of heaven. I said, God, how did that take place? He said, Ian, in that, in that ambulance, as you saw your life go before you and you saw your mother praying for you, the words came, forgive us our sins. We forgive those who have sinned against us and we give our heart over to Jesus Christ. He said, when you pray that prayer, I forgave you and cleansed you and washed your spirit as white as snow. So there is a spiritual battle for, for our soul kingdom of darkness versus the kingdom of light. And he said, Ian, when you turned your heart over to me, all the darkness was cleansed from your spirit in a moment in time, and the blood of Jesus washed your soul clean. I said, God, I seem to go into darkness. What is that? He said, Ian, there's a kingdom of darkness ruled by Satan, but there is a kingdom of light ruled by Jesus. He said, in the spirit realm, there is a kingdom of darkness, total separation from all light. I said, God, why did you take me through that? He said, Ian, had you not prayed in the ambulance, I'd have left you in outer darkness until the day of judgment. But I chose to show you the valley of the shadow of death, that evil could not touch you, because I was with you. I said, God, I moved through a tunnel of light. He said, Matthew 7, um, 13 and 14, narrow is the way that leads to the kingdom of God, few find it. Broad and wide is the pathway that leads to destruction and outer darkness. There is a highway of holiness, the Lord spoke to me. I said, I felt love and joy and peace. He said, my Holy Spirit brings love and joy and peace and comfort to those who love me. I said, God, I saw my arm and it was transparent. He said, Ian, in the twinkling of an eye, your perishable body will go and you'll take on immortality. Death is swallowed up in victory because the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. I said, God, I came into a, a light that seemed to fill the heavens. He said, my son Jesus is glorified. He is surrounded by unapproachable light. I said, then how did I come into that light? He said, the veil has been torn of the Holy of Holies, that we have entry in through the blood of the Lamb into the holy place. I said, I saw a man in white robes, and his face shone with a radiance that seemed to fill the universe. He said, that was my son Jesus in his glorified heavenly form. He said, my son died on the cross for your sins, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But he rose again from the dead, and he is, he is glorified. I said, where is that mentioned in the Bible? He said, in Revelations 1, 13 to 18, in the midst of the lampstands stood the Son of Man, with white robes reaching his feet. His head and his hair were white like wool, like snow, and his face shone like the sun in full strength. He said, do not be afraid. I was dead on the cross, but behold, I am alive forevermore. I hold the keys of death and Hades. I have conquered over the power of evil. I am the resurrected Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. I said, that's Jesus. I said, he stepped aside. He said, John 10, 7 and 9. Jesus said, I am the door of life. Those who come to me shall have life, life eternal, abundant life, resurrection life. And I said, God, I saw green pastures. He said, a new heaven and a new earth for those who love me. He said, son, I've created a new heaven and a new earth. It's 2 Peter chapter 3, 10 to 18. He said, I saw people behind me. He said, I wish that none would perish. Do you realize that tonight he desires you to come to know him? His arms of love, which were stretched out on the cross, so great a love had God that he died on the cross for you. That his heart, that he wishes none of you would perish. That every single one of you, every person, no matter how broken, no matter how smashed, no matter how abused, can be forgiven and healed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon Jesus to heal the broken hearts, to set captives free from every bondage, every sin that comes, He can set you free. Purify your heart and fill you with life eternal. Many of you are living for the moment. You've pressed the self-destruct button years ago. But I tell you what, I had a praying mother who never gave up. And some of you have got family, grandparents who have prayed for you. And the heart of God is for you to respond to that act of love for you to humble yourself like prodigal sons and daughters and come back into the house of the Lord, to come back and find forgiveness, 
to find healing in Jesus Christ. I said, God, I came back into my body. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He said, I can speak to that which is dead and call it back to life. He said, son, if you come to me, you will have the resurrection power dwelling within you. And when you die, I will take your human spirit into heaven. He said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He said on the cross when Jesus hung there, he said, Father, forgive them. A man next to him was a murderer and a thief. He said, remember me. The other man cursed him. Jesus turned to the man and said, today you shall be with me in paradise. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord Jesus Christ. Death is swallowed up through the power of his blood. All I know is that he loves me. I've had 19 years of experience in the tangible presence of the Spirit of God. He has completely healed and set me free. God has given me a great, great wife, an amazing family, and I have hope for the future. And I know, no matter how suicidal or how much despair is in your heart, no matter how much your marriage is smashed, we've heard folks here this evening say that only through prayer and forgiveness,